morning, tea believers. This is the Atheist, and today I am reviewing one of five teas from Wudong Tea Company, who contacted me on Instagram. I got a message a while back, and they offered some free samples if I pay shipping, which I did. And they give me five different teas, 25 grams each, to try out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to review them as well, just because. Uh, this is a Fang Huang Mi Lan Zhang which is probably butchered horribly because I don't speak Chinese. And it's a spring, hu spring oolong tea with honey hints. So we're going to give that a try and see how it tastes. And I'm actually really, really excited. When they asked me if I wanted free tea, I was like, does the Pope shit in the woods? You damn right I'm going to like some free tea. So let's check this out and uh, brew it up. And since this is an oolong, it'll be uh, 200 degrees. And I'll probably brew it for just a few minutes. We'll see how it goes. Let's take a quick little look at the tea leaves while the water goes. Nice long leaves. So it looks like they picked the whole leaf, not just part of it. It looks like a little stem. There's a leaf. Dark in color. And the smell is very sweet, which I guess tells us about the honey in it. So. We're going to take this and dump it in my tea brewer and go from there. There we go. Beautiful. Now we can watch it. I guess watching tea steep is like watching paint dry if you don't like tea. But it's kind of nice. It's beautiful. Oh, we got both of them now. Got both of them. Two stupid cats. They think they're getting treats. Nope, no treats. No treats. And see, love jump? Yep, little love jump. No treats for stupid bad kitties. Nope. Yep, rub against the camera. That's right. Good cat. Right against the camera. There you go. See, the cat likes it too. Right, Marbo? Yeah. That's right. So we're going to let this steep. Let's see what the final color's like, and we're going to enjoy a cup. Look at that liquid gold. Oh wow, I can smell the honey. Octopus approves. Do, do, do. Like, look at that. That is just terrific. All right. We're going to do the tasting in a minute now. Apparently, you can re-steep this bad boy. And I've been sitting here for the last five minutes for it to cool down. Just smelling it. It is some really, really nice smelling tea. Uh, you can smell a little bit of orchid. You can smell the honey. You can smell a little bit of roastiness. And from what I've read about it, it supposedly has a different aftertaste than regular taste, like a very sharp contrast. So we'll see about that uh, when it's time to take the sip, which it is, and I will report back. Let's take a look. It smells nice. Oh my gosh. It tastes like I've added sweetener to this, which I haven't. It is beautiful tea. Getting the orchid, getting the honey. Not getting the bitter, getting the roasty. Plenty of roasty. This might be my new favorite oolong tea. This is wonderful. Oh, this is a winner. So I'm going to post the link to the tea in the comments. This is amazing tea. I just, I gotta say, I, it is fresh from the mountain. So there is that. And I am thoroughly impressed. So what I will do is I will post their Instagram in the comments. I will post their website in the comments, specifically the page to this specific tea. 
And I am going to just sit here and enjoy the fuck out of this. This is not teabag at all. Oh my god. So this is the atheist saying steep, bleh, steep keeping. Yes, steep keeping. <laughs>